Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. How's it going today? Uh, we're financial advisors here that help with your retirement, your long-term investments, and we're the first place to say, hey, we don't care how much you have. If you have a little bit or you have a lot, we're still gonna give you the same service. We're gonna help you understand how much to invest. We're gonna look at all of your investments. We'll even manage the investments we have here with you using our expense ratio free funds that we build and manage ourselves. And of course we will teach just like this, but in what we call the dojo. It's a private video library for our customers. Enough of the sales pitch, let's get right to it. Today I'm gonna give you four retirement investing stats. You gotta know, you gotta know this one, okay? So hang in there, stick with me. We're gonna go through really, really quick. Number one, did you know it's gonna take you 11 years to grow as much as you contribute? Meaning if you put $100 in every month for the next 11 years, you still would not grow more than the $100 you put in each month. Meaning when you put in $100, you'll grow, something will happen there, but it's not gonna be $100 worth of growth. After 11 years, what happens is you put 100 in, and by the time you put that 100 in, you've already made another 100, right? Compound interest. And then it's a sliding scale from there. You get to a point where you put 100 in, you've already made 200, right? I did a video on this a while back. I'll try to find it and put it above if I can, uh, but you get to a point where you put in 100 and you've already made 300. You've already made 400, right? So the growth of your account starts outpacing what you've contributed, assuming all things equal uh, as far as contributions go. So no, it's gonna take some time. When you put money in that first year goes by, magic's not gonna happen in the first year. You might get lucky. You might invest in a year where the markets did really well and it's all exciting, but don't worry about it. It will grow over time, 11 years uh, for that study there. Uh, the second thing I wanna cover for you here today, the S&P return distributions. Did a great video on this one uh, not too far ago. I'm going to actually put that one above for you. Uh, this was a sample video that we did for our customers. I put it out publicly so you could see it. Did you know the average return in the S&P 500, if you back out more than enough inflation, is 7%? But did you know that only 6.7% of the time in the entire lifetime of the S&P 500, only 6.7% of the time will you actually see a return in your account for the year that equals 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10%. So you're expecting to see 7% average returns. Everybody and their mother saying 7% average returns account for inflation and that's what you get but you only see it 6.7% of the time. Now, don't let me get you down, right? You're gonna end up with that as an average return. You see it, oh, I mean, let me say it this way. Over the course of history, you did end up with that return. Going forward, anything's possible, of course. Um, but I want you to check out that video for the return distributions. That's just a fancy way of saying how many times did we return X versus how many times did we return X minus X or whatever it is. So I go through it in great detail in that one. So that's number two. Number three. Everybody and their mother says, I'll take Social Security at 65. But in reality, people take Social Security closer to 63, at least as of now. That'll change because the ages have gone up and everything. The point of that is to say everybody plans to take the money later and they end up needing it sooner. Make sure you account for that in your plan. Every one of our customers, what we do is we say, what years do you wanna retire? At? How old are you now? How much do you wanna have? And then we lay out the scenario for you to say, you need to put away this much money, right? You might wanna plan a couple years earlier just so you know you've saved enough. If you get there, you love your job, you're healthy, everything's good. Of course, you can work a little bit longer and that's great. Uh, number four, only 17% of people are confident about how much money they have for retirement. And if you'll give me just a second, I want to pull up something just really quick here because this study came from a lady on The Motley Fool. Her name is Christy Bieber. I don't know Christy Bieber. I've never met her, but one of her things in her article says, you need to know your retirement number. How much money you need to live on, not how much you need in your bucket. Uh, hmm, Christy, have you seen our videos here on YouTube? I've been preaching this since day one. So much so, not that I did this, but the government is actually trying to get 401k companies to report your salary in terms of how much you'll have in retirement. So smart, so smart. When you look at your retirement and you try to figure out how much you need, do not fall for the game of saying, I need a million dollars, I'll live off 4% a year, take out 4% a year, I'll get 4% in interest and it'll be a wash. No, 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 that doesn't work that way. I promise you it doesn't work that way because I have retirees as customers that wonder, why doesn't it work that way in the real world? 
It does not. So if you see someone saying, you just need a million dollars, if you earn 4% on that million dollars, you take the 4% out, therefore it's a wash. When you go to take 4% out again, you've replaced the money you took out. I promise you it does not work that way. I'm just here to give you it straight up. Anyways, I want to thank Christy, whether she saw our videos or not. Uh, she's got it down right there. So she wrote an article on that as well. But anyways, I got the stats from her article that said only 17% of people are confident about retirement. Part of what helps you be confident about retirement is to know your number. Well, if you want someone to make your number for you, I hope you'll check us out here at jazzwealth.com. We sort of force all of our customers to go through that and uh, we'll do it for you as well. You can open an account, you can transfer an account over here at Jazz Wealth. Uh, so far, so good. Everybody seems to like us. Uh, all of our information is public. All of our portfolios are on our website. There's no question I won't answer. So if you want a question answered, schedule a call with me. Send us an email. Email support at Jazz Wealth. We're always watching and always happy to help. If none of that matters to you, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Why should you choose Jazz Wealth as your retirement or long-term investing service? Our portfolios are managed by us, not some faceless mutual fund manager. Our private classes will teach you everything about investing and getting your dough straight. Best of all, our fiduciary standard means your best interest comes before ours.